recording. According to the cloud, and there we go. All right. So yes, welcome to our 17th virtual orientation session, Guide to Getting Involved. And so what is everything going to be like when you get to campus? I know that classes are a big part of life, but what is what else can I get to do? Uh, my name is Matthew Zielinski, Director of New Student Transition Programs, he, him, his pronouns, and you'll be working with me for the rest of the summer and through virtual orientation. But I am very happy to introduce you to uh, a dear colleague, Elise Michelle, Director of Student Leadership and Involvement. So you get to take it away. Thank you so much, Matthew. As Matt said, I am the Director of Student Leadership and Involvement here on the Hill. Uh, we believe in making sure that you are having fun while you're here enjoying your experience. So we're going to blow up the chat real quick. That sounds very destructive, but we're, it's going to be constructive, okay? So you ready? I want to know the things that you've been involved in in your time before you got to Seton Hill. This could be anything from yearbook to football to baseball to a photography club to a theater. I wanna know in the chat, the things that you have been involved in. Give it to me, give it to me. I wanna hear it all or see it all, I guess. Cross country, track, beautiful. More track and field, orchestra, ooh, fancy, band. Yes, I caught on to those context clues, dance, Spanish club, softball. Look at y'all. You see, you you blew up the chat like I wanted you to. This is perfect. Draw, AP drawing, that is fancy. More track and field, football. Look at all this involvement, Matt. AP jewelry, that's, yeah, I need to. I, I need more do details on that. Yes. Jessica is super involved in some fancy things, jewelry and drawing. All right, cool. I forgot to mention bowling. Okay, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, oh, this is Je Jessica. Tell me more, okay, <laughs> she gave me the wave. She said, all right, I'm here and I'm out. Okay, you came back. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate that. Tell me more about that AP jewelry and drawing. Um, so uh, for AP jewelry, I create, um, uh, metal uh, works of art and they're usually uh, artist statements and um, like something I guess you could see on the red carpet like a fashion runway. Oh you fancy! <laughs> and um, I can show you uh, one of my works. Um, yes. Does she have sharing screen abilities? I could show you yeah, my and I can... Oh oh on your phone okay okay. I was see I was I was ready to do the mix. <laughs> okay, um so here wait. Let's see if it'll work. Oh my. Oh. That is so cool. Thank you. So what are you going to do? What are you going to major in when you get to Seton Hill? I have um, a feeling but art education and fine arts. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So why do you think I asked you all that? And this can also be in the chat. Why do I why do you think I asked you what you've been involved in. Oh, Hannah, Hannah's got it all going on. You all are crushing it. Yes, Hannah, you've got a lot of involvement. Austin, exactly, to get involved and build relationships, to see what we are interested in, absolutely. Because a lot of the things that you've been involved in up until this point, you can still get involved with at Seton Hill. Now, the cool thing is, if it doesn't exist at Seton Hill, you can create it. All you need is an advisor, so a big kid, a faculty, or AKA a big kid, a faculty staff member who also is into whatever it is that you wanna start. And then you need four other friends, so you create like almost like an executive board of folks who are gonna lead that group. Take it to SGA and you do it all online and then you're good to go. They'll approve you and then you do your thing you have that club or organization here on campus. One of the reasons that we love what we do and we're familiar with those organizations that we've been involved with, right, is because we're, that's part of our community. I would encourage you, I know all of you, I can base off, based off of your involvement, I already know that you're overachievers. And I want you to continue to be overachievers. I see the head nods, right? Continue to do that while you're here. But, and not but, and the way you create that community while you're here at Seton Hill is not just focusing on getting those A's and getting that 
but also getting involved while you're here on campus. That's what's going to make you feel like you're at home here at Seton Hill. I think we have an event called Home on the Hill during home, Homecoming, something to that effect, okay? Make Seton Hill your home. If you just simply go to class, go to low dining hall, get something to eat, that's my favorite place to be too, all right? And then go back to your residence hall, you're not gonna connect with and make that community that you can. And you'll find yourself getting homesick and, and really thinking about home, make this home and you make it home by getting to know the faces that are walking around you. We have so much diversity on our campus, not only just in people, but the activities and things that you can get involved in. And so I would encourage you to have a list, keep that list growing, okay? I'll, I'll tie it to how many of us want a job someday? I'll, I'll take the folks raising their hands around it. Yeah, that's the goal of this thing, this very expensive endeavor we're about to embark on, all right? Yeah, so in order to get that job, how are you going to stand out on paper? There's going to be lots of folks in uh, what class are y'all? 2025, six, seven, eight. Woo! Making me feel old. 25. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Hannah. Five, I appreciate yeah. that. I, I, I appreciate the five. Lots of people are going to be graduating in 2025 with similar degrees as you. Lots of folks in just next fall and next summer are gonna be looking for internships just like you. How are you gonna make yourself stand out on paper? It's getting involved in doing a lot of these same things that you did in high school here at Seton Hill. It's being a president or some type of role in, in an organization on campus. It's maybe taking on and being a resident assistant in the, in the, um, in the residence halls. Maybe it's being an orientation leader. Maybe you like this part of it so much that next year you're an orientation leader with uh, Matthew. These are all opportunities that you can take a part of that help to build that resume. Not only do you want that 4.0, okay? That's, that's the goal. We gotta, we, we gotta make the uh, 4.0 to stick around, right? But we also, in order to enjoy that time and sticking around, it's so, so important. And I know I'm very biased because I have involvement and leadership in my title and it's what I'm all about, but it also will benefit you in uh, very much the long run while you're here at Seton Hill, okay? Deal? Deal. So I wanna show you one of the things that our office works on is our welcome week. And so uh, back in, now this video is a, a little dated, but I promise you that we're still having fun. And I wanna show you the welcome week that we, uh, we had here on campus um, back in 2017. So give me a second to queue it up and share my screen and share with you all. While you're doing that, just to make sure too, welcome week is different than welcome weekend. Welcome weekend is the, the first few days before classes, specifically for first year students, where welcome week is once we already have classes, this is a little bit of fun and this is for everyone. I appreciate that, Matt. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! 
what do you think? Pretty cool, right? Some things I want to highlight from that video. Um, and then I'm going to show you another one here soon. But give me a second as I cue that up. So one of the first things. Friday's not a bad thing. Huh? I'm going to let that add run, but I'll take the sound off. Okay. So you saw at the beginning of the, the video that we have a room called Mediasphere that's dedicated just to video games. So any gamers in the space by a show of hands or in the chat, uh, what games do you like to play? Because of COVID, it wasn't happening, um, but I bet, I guarantee that that's gonna be a thing for you all come back, coming back this fall. Um, so that's a biggie. That's pretty cool. I think that's very unique to us. Um, what was the other note I wanted to mention in there? You saw the foam dance. So that is unique to us as well. We do a lot of unique things and that's another one of the, um, uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew mentioned it in the chat, the foam dance. It's unique to us. Our food services director is a fireman. So he literally hooks up a big old hose to Deshantel and uh, runs the water, puts a, a soap dispenser on it, and folks just literally dance in the foam for like three hours. It's a good time. Now me, I enjoy the festivities from outside of the foam pit, but I hope that you all enjoy yourselves this year in the foam pit. It is a really, really, really good time. Um, and then uh, we always, we still do fit, field trips. We believe in field trips around here. Um, the Seton Hill Programming Board, if you like planning any of those events, that's something that you can partake in. You can be one of the folks who plans those events. Um, it's all student driven. Uh, so that year they went to Zone 28. Uh, they've got a really good trip they're thinking about for a welcome week. So uh, make sure you're paying attention to our social media. If you're not following us already, I'd like to give a plug for at Shooting Life. Um, on, on Instagram. That's a great way to stay connected. And that's another way you can get involved. If you love social media, you can be one of our shoe ambassadors. All right, Austin, I see you. Get involved, sir. Um, and it's a, it's a great place to kind of, you know, um, show your chops. If you're a ham like me and like to have fun with everybody and okay, all right, I see you, Austin. I see you. I better see you on there. Uh, doing your thing. So, you know, it's a great way to kind of um, know what's going on on campus and a great way to work on your public speaking skills and things of that nature. So while I mentioned public speaking skills, again, that's another one of those things that you really hone when you get involved in clubs and organizations on campus. People are always like, E, how do you, I don't mind, I could speak in front of 500 people or three. It really doesn't phase me anymore because I've taken lots of opportunities in my young career to take opportunities to speak in front of groups of people. That's not everybody's thing, I get that. But take advantage of the opportunities that you can so that no matter what you do and profession you pursue, that's something, a skill that you really, really hone before you cross that stage and shake Dr. Finger's hand to get that diploma you've earned, all right? Um, so another thing that I think is unique to us, really, really cool, and maybe you've heard about it, and, and, um, and I'd love to know in the chat, it's something that we do around Christmas. Has anybody heard about our thing, like our claim to fame? I see some head nods. What, what do you got for me? What is it? And you can tell me in the chat too, I'm open to that. Christmas on the Hill, you got it, you got it. And what do you know about Christmas on the Hill? Any details that sound, that come to mind? What makes it special or what makes it unique? Christmas caroling, it's decked halls for sure. Professors cook, you're close. You're close, Jordan. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, I like those answers. So here's the deal. 
it is an event that we hold right before you all um, head off to head home for winter break. And you people are dressed to the nines and we serve you a plated dinner and it's presented to you, Jordan, by the professors and the faculty and the staff on campus who volunteer their time. We have, it's such a big deal, we have two dinners. So one's at four o'clock and then there's mass, of course. And then we have uh, a seven o'clock dinner. So it's a great way to kind of celebrate Christmas on the Hill and come together one last time before we head home for the holidays with our family and loved ones. Um, and so we captured this. Oh, and I can't forget that we have a dance afterwards. And for those who aren't interested in dancing, we have some, we've added on a movie that you can watch in one of the classrooms, um, some, some card games, some Jenga, whatever you're into um, in case dancing isn't your speed or you need a break. So I wanna share with you all a look at what our Christmas on the Hill looks like. This is Christmas on the Hill. It's absolutely one of the largest attended traditions that we have on the Hill. You know, it's a great chance for me to get together with my, my school family. Seton Hill prides itself on being such a close-knit family. It reminds us that finals are important, but being good people is more important. It's a celebration of family and community and of what life here at Seton Hill is all about. To me, um, it's a bigger speech to what we call as the family of the um, It really brings the students together uh, here in one space to join as a larger community that is outside the academics. And it deals more with the ability to, as I know we mentioned, you know, we together. Under one roof, at one table, nourishing our lives. That family aspect, I mean, it really feels like home. Everybody here knows you. They care for you, and I think that caring and then knowing is what this school is really bring, bring to you. There's something completely special about what happens here today. You can't find it in a textbook, you can't find it taught anywhere in your classroom. It is truly something that is felt in more families' walls. I hope students take away um, just a little bit of love from them. They can feel it in the room, from those that are giving it to those that are receiving it. What do you think? Yeah, I like the smiles on the faces. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Uh, uh, my guy, um, <laughs> if I didn't already shop, uh, stop the share screen, Cliff was getting down with the get down at the end. He had his whole stanky leg out. I love that. I love that part of the video. <laughs> yes, I said stanky leg. I'm old, so I so I, I can still use stanky leg, OK? That was cool when I was in college, all right? Um, so that is one of our best, our best traditions, y'all. Um, you, I'm, I'm just, am I getting you excited to be here and be a part of what's happening at Seton Hill? That makes me very, very happy because you're truly becoming part of a community that is a special place. We're very unique. Um, I know everybody, each and every one of you got the feels when you were driving up the hill and those big old trees as you were driving in, whether you were coming in in the winter, the summer or the fall, like it's all super, every season is super special at Seton Hill. So um, yeah, I hope you're getting excited about being here. And so I think the last thing I wanna leave you with is the platform where you can find everything that's going on on campus. 
And it's, I know that some of you have already been paying attention to this platform, right? Because you're watching, you're watching that progress bar move along so that you can get your points and your swag. Okay, I see, I see y'all. I respect. Real recognize real. I'd be doing the same thing if I were you. So again, I'm gonna share my screen. And I don't want to be redundant. Matthew, have y'all covered this page? Or should I go more in depth before I go into in a, what they in a specific orientation session? We have not. And so we had that okay. little introduction video that you made for us that we, sure. we have on the Road to Hill website um, to make sure everyone knows how to RSVP. But but there's a very good chance that behind just clicking on those events and RSVPing, there might not have been much exploring yet. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Because I don't, you know, you know me, I don't like to beat a dead horse. So there's a couple ways to get to shine. You can either go to seatonhill.edu backslash shine to go right to the site and sign up and do all that stuff. Or you can go in from my shoe and up in that nine square next to, uh, is it like a profile or something like that? There's a nine square up there and the shine is in that drop down menu, okay? So that's two ways you can get there. I, as you can see, I've got a lot of memberships and the way you get those memberships is by clicking on organizations and becoming a part of something, right? So here is where you can see all the different things, all the different organizations, clubs and orgs and even departments that we have on campus. So let's, let's break it down first. So student affairs, this is terminology that's not really familiar to you all, but I'm going to help you out a little bit. Student affairs is a, is a side of the house where there's professional services, but we kind of handle the fun stuff, if that makes sense. So Matthew, myself, if you've met Corey, who's in charge of residence life, our dean of students, uh, Dr. Rosalie Carpenter, we're all the wellness folks, our counseling, all those folks are on the student affairs side of the house, okay? But then we share campus with folks in academic affairs. So you could put two and two together. Those are your departments on campus, but there are also some centers and departments that fall under that area too. Career and professional development. They're gonna help you with your resumes and getting your internships and correct, uh, connecting with alumni who have just graduated, things of that nature. Um, academic Achievement Center, the Writing Center, you know, the list goes on and on. This is where you can find some of their contact information. The School of Business, what they have going on. They're, that's a great resource. So let's go back to Student Affairs, okay? We'll just worry about us because we're the cool side of the house anyway. Don't tell anybody else I said that. Okay, as this video is being recorded, right? Um, let's say you wanted to get involved with Adventure Club. All right. Now I have different privileges because I'm like the Wizard of Oz on Shine. Okay. So don't mind this managed organization piece. What you do want to see is hit join. This is, and you're going to see all the people who, in, who are in charge of that club or organization and how you can get involved with them. Um, you can see their president, their vice president, treasurer, so on and so forth. Those folks were, will be listed on the Shine page. And you can see any, any other point in time, these are some of the events that they've had on campus. So if Adventure Club, you're like, all right, I'm thinking about getting involved with Adventure Club, that might be a good way to meet those folks, okay? So look out for opportunities like that. In the fall, there is no date just yet. There will be an involvement fair where all of our clubs and orgs on campus have, are out trying to get you. They want you to be a part of their club and organization. It's honestly, besides Christmas on the Hill, it's probably one of the best events on campus because there's a lot of free candy because they're trying to swoon you, right? So I've seen popsicles come out. I've seen um, popcorn. I've seen, um, yeah, I personally, again, I love food. I talked about the dining hall. I love food. I love the involvement there. It's just a fun buzz. Um, in, in, the, in the atmosphere because everybody's super excited about what it is that they're involved in and whatnot. So this is a page you might wanna peruse before you get to campus. Check out what you like um, and, and see how you can get involved. 
then there's news, right? So different things that are happening on campus that we're trying to really highlight and get you involved in. SGA, for example, has an event in the fall and in the spring called Midnight Bingo. It gets hype and rowdy in there and some really cool ass prizes, if I do say so myself. Um, I've almost wanted to play a couple times because I think they gave away a PlayStation 5. They gave away some Air, uh, some AirPods, um, a whole bunch of stuff. So that's, that's a must be at event. Trust me, you're not gonna miss it. It's one of those things where everybody's at um, and it's a good time. So th that's a different way to kind of see what else you've got, we've got going on on campus too. Um, I think this is important. Um, I'm not sure if y'all have gotten to engage with Marissa Haynes, but this is where you can see the different service opportunities that we have as, uh, you know, as a part of campus. We are huge on service here at Seton Hill. Um, and there will be a plethora of opportunities if that's something that y'all are passionate about uh, for you to get involved. The first event, um, it's not uh, labor of love, right? That's the first event, right, Matt? And so that you all will be uh, participating in that event. It's, it's, again, one of the best ones we do. And I, I look forward to you all participating that and having some fun. I also say that that's a good pitch. I believe it's two Mondays from now is when our orientation session is entitled Mission Monday. Ooh, so yeah. yeah, Mission Monday, Monday, July 26th. So um, our service outreach fits within our mission and identity division. So Marissa will be speaking on, uh, about service on Mission Monday. Beautiful. All right, and the last page that I'm gonna, gonna show you, and this is something you all should already be familiar with. This will be popping a little more, I promise. Give folks a minute to start putting in their events. But right now, as you can see, it has all of the other events that are going on with orientation. But once things get going, the welcome week events will be in there, September events that all of the different departments and even our clubs and organizations have going on, they will all be on this page. So AKA, get to know SHINE. All right, we call it SHINE for short. It is. It stands for Seton Hills Internal Network for Engagement. So what do we wanna see from you? We wanna see you involved with a whole bunch of stuff. All right, get involved while you're here at Seton Hill. Don't just, don't just go to your dorm. Just don't, if you're a commuter, don't just go back home. Find a way to really ingratiate yourself into the, into the community and make Seton Hill home. That's how you make it familiar territory. Everybody here is willing and, and able to help you succeed, okay? I haven't met a mean person on this campus, all right? And I, and I would be honest with you about that. Um, and, and that being said, everybody wants to see you do well while you're here. And one way you do well is uh, certainly by getting involved, making connections, and, um, and being that, over, that great overachiever that I know you are. And so with that being said, I think that, Austin, you like bingo? I'm just now seeing the, the chat. I may have to register for some organizations after the Zoom video. Absolutely. You won't regret it because then it's um, then then you're already ready to go. And another cool thing about the events, even if you plug in some of the events on Shine, you can add them to your calendar. I'm sure if they haven't already talked to you about Google Calendar, we love Google Calendar around here, and that's a great way for you all to begin to be organized about what you're involved in, your classes, what's due, and all of that jazz. Okay, so utilize that tool. And uh, you can see what's going on, what, what everybody has happening and what could be better than that. All right. I was gonna say, I've already been getting email notifications from some certain people who've requested to join clubs and orgs on Shine. Nice. So, so, yeah. so, I mean, directly for myself to give you some pitches, I, I work with our class officers. And so right now there's not a page on Shine for the class of 2025, but if any of you are coming in as transfers, 
and will be graduating in 24, 23, you can always join those groups. But I work with a group of student leaders who represent their classes and carrying on certain campus traditions. So if you are coming in as a traditional first year student, we'll talk to you a lot during welcome weekend about class officers. And so a part of that is the campus life resolution board that works with uh, our students through the conduct uh, process. And, and so a lot of what we do is housed in new student transition programs. And yeah, I wasn't sure too, if it'd also be important to talk about Cork. I, you would almost even be better than me than okay. to talk about it. Go for it. I'll, I'll even say too, I'm gonna give you all a heads up because this is something that we're gonna talk right about on Friday of Welcome Weekend. And it'll probably be included in our last session. On your mobile device, you can go ahead and you can look for an app Cork, C-O-R-Q, and that is actually the app that takes all of the events on Shine and puts it onto your phone. And so right now, if you have the chance and you can download Cork, C-O-R-Q, the app and have it on your mobile device. And then from there, you sign in and create an account through your Seton Hill um, username and password. So it's a single sign-on. But then if you see here, it kind of, oh, I know with the, with the background, it gets a little bit messed up, but um, I can always turn that off here if I need to, but it, it gives you the list of all of the events. So even too, if you're trying to RSVP for virtual orientation events or remember the list, you can do that all right from your phone from the app. But one of the features of Cork that we use a lot during Welcome Weekend is your event pass. So once you, once you and let me, yeah, I will turn off my background here. Uh, once you are on Cork and you're on campus and you're going around to different things, there is a part on, oh, yeah, see that's hard to see there, but there is a part on the Cork app that's called the event pass and it gives a QR code of who you are. So what we'll do through a lot of welcome weekend is we will actually take attendance at events using your event pass. So having that on your phone is very helpful for us. And, and like myself, I can add that to my Apple wallet. So I don't have to worry about pulling up Cork all the time if sometimes Wi-Fi gets a little bit tricky. Yeah, last night I saw you had a question there. How do you spell Quark again? C O R Q. C wait, C O R Q. C O R Q. Yep. Thank you so and much, Matthew. C O R Q, I, I think. Does that does that get it for you? Yep, powered by Campus Labs. C O R Q powered by Campus no, it's, Labs. It's an orange it's little logo there. Campus Labs. Yep, you pull that up, you download that, you log in through your Seton Hill account, and then from there you can even see your event pass. You can go to my events. So once you start to RSVP to events on Cork or on Shine, they'll already appear in your My Events list. So you can see everything. So right now everything's under campus. But what I'll also say to help you in, in regards to Welcome Weekend, we will have the Welcome Weekend schedule ready for you um, in the beginning of August. But every single Welcome Weekend event will also put into Shine so you can have it on your phone. So when you're running around campus and there's a lot of different options for you on that very first weekend because we want to get you connected, using Cork on your phone is really one of the best ways at the very beginning. So a little, a little sales pitch there. Love it. Thank you, Matthew. That helps a lot. Absolutely. Any other questions that I can answer while I'm here? So happy I got to hang with y'all tonight. I hope you learned something. Awesome. I thought there was a quest for the for a link to the Cork app. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how to do. Well, that's a lot. So it, it looks like cork.app is the website from there where you can either click on download on the App Store or get it on Google Play. So that's at least looking on the internet where you can find a link to the Cork app. That's helpful. Yeah, because it depends on what phone and operating system yeah. you have. Um, But I appreciate you all getting engaged with us. I appreciate your uh, your excitement for what you've been doing over the past few years and what you're going to be able to do at Seton Hill. And, and so uh, the other thing I'll say too, in, in my mind of how we work with virtual orientation is we're trying to do what we can to get you ready to get to campus. Once you get to campus, welcome weekend, we'll do everything that we can to get you ready for that first week of class. And then everything you're doing with your instructors in that first week. and. Uh, leadership and involvement does with Welcome Week. 
we'll get you set for the rest of the semester. So we'll take you through it step by step, get you all set and make sure you get as connected as you can on campus. Awesome. With that, I'm going to at least stop recording here.